Good evening. I want to share a word with you this evening. This is more in the form of an announcement, and so I ask for this time uh, to be separate from a devotional or a sermon or whatever so that you would be able to hear what I'm saying to you. And if you need to share that with someone, that's great too. It's not a big earth-shaking thing, but it is something that's different, and you will understand it in just a minute. We have a beautiful... Uh, warm, welcoming uh, structure for the church, that uh, Gothic style that we are very blessed to be able to worship in when the church is gathered uh, here in the sanctuary. It's wonderful, um, and we love it very much. However, as you are aware, those of you who worship here or who have been in here, we also have things that are very old. We uh, have some, uh, we do have a pipe organ. And we have some of the original pipes. Um, and every once in a while, like about every um, 70 or 80 years, they need to be worked on. We have uh, come to that time. It's been planned that we would um, do our best to uh, take advantage of this summer. This is before the virus hit. Uh, and hopefully that we would get this repair work done. Well, obviously we have been uh, not able to uh, be in worship while we had the organ with us. Um, and it came our time, yay, finally to get this repair work done. George has been uh, milking everything and working around all of these pedals as best he could. So you may say, well, I haven't really noticed anything. And Yahoo for you, that's great. Uh, other people have noticed that, and if you try to play it, you would notice it very much. You just have to be um, gifted and have played this organ for a long time to make it sound as good as it's been sounding. So what I want to share with you is this. The, um, the man who works on this has come and has taken our pipes away. Uh, a lot of our older pipes. So there is no way for the organ to sound as you normally hear it sounding. Hopefully when they come back, they will be better than ever and you'll finally uh, hear the organ at its finest. And that will be incredibly awesome. We are not in that place right now. Um, and so, because we know that you love the organ so much, and we also know that you love the piano so much, when uh, George or Carrie or uh, Dr. Gustafson or whoever plays the piano for us or the organ for us, um, we have gone this direction. This has been our joint decision, is we have um, several uh, videos of George playing the organ. And so what we will be doing for your benefit and help, and because you love that to start worship, we will be using those videos that we have of George playing the organ for the postlude and the prelude. Not necessarily every week, but most of these weeks until we get our pipes back. Uh, also, you may hear um, a piano. Uh, solo or whatever as the opening, uh, as our opening voluntary. Uh, and you may hear that also as the postlude. I'm just, I'm not sure as we have planned this out exactly which one you will be hearing when. Uh, but always when you hear the organ, you will know that uh, it is a, it is a recorded piece and it is being played for you because we know that you love the organ. So we don't want you going without while we are without the organ. Uh, having said that, I hope that um, you are having a wonderful day, that you've had a wonderful day, and that you will help us and uh, pray that our pipes are going to come back, as I said, in great condition, and that we will hear this in its finest hour uh, and get to be in worship together also. We're looking so forward to that. We do not have a date yet, but we are looking so forward to that. And we really will have a lot to celebrate when we have you and when we have the pipes back fully functioning 
life will be wonderful, even as God gives us life today, and it's wonderful. So I wanted to share these words with you now. If you, like I said, if you hear the organ, it will be uh, George recorded, but we do hope that we can fill in this time for you to have and not go without the organ, because it is very uh, uplifting. It's a wonderful gift that we've been given, and we've been given great people to play it all the years that Brenda's played it, as I said, Carrie's played it, and we've um, tried some pieces. We've tried some uh, hymns on the organ, and it's difficult. It sounds all right, and we may go in that direction, but uh, it is not the way the organ really is equipped to sound. So I just wanted to share those words with you and let you know again how much we love you and let you know again how much we miss you. And we too would like to be in worship where you are with us and we can see your faces. And like I said, I envision that all the time, but I want to see it. And I believe that I will. And I believe that we will have glorious worship when we're back together. Thank you for allowing us uh, this time for the organ to get new life. And we're all looking for that. And so thank you again for hearing me and for praying about our organ and for one another as we continue to be a part in only a physical way and in only for a little while longer. Thank you so much.